Hi, this is Ross from ProTech Epoxy Floors, Newport Ritchie, Florida. Today we're in Tampa, Temple Terrace. We're starting this epoxy over ceramic tile job. Uh, this is a little nigh, and as you can see, the homeowner is doing a battle trying to keep it clean. Uh, and so they wanted to do something different to uh, have an easy to clean surface. So what we're doing is here is we're uh, grinding or deglazing the tile. So what we're trying to do is uh, take off the ceramic itself off the top of the tile and just expose the tile. So one of the important things that we're trying to do too is because we want to eliminate uh, definitely any lippage. So that's when two tiles, one is higher than the other. So you can see here, here's a good spot where uh, I can show you that the lippage has been removed already. And you can see that's relatively flat. Now the grout lines are still there. The grout lines are, are very difficult to uh, take care of, but we have something next that I'll show in the next segment. So there you can see the lippage. There's just a little bit there that we got to get rid of or minimize as best as we can. This segment shows what it's like after we have deglazed the tile, uh, minimized the lippage. And uh, what, so you can see now we're actually down to the clay in the tile. So we're going to get a good adhesion with our epoxy. Now this is a lanai and the weather has not been cooperating and the roof on this lanai leaks quite a bit. So uh, when we come back before we go on to the next step, what we really have to do is clean it real well and get it dry. And you can see that's what we're doing here. We have air movers and stuff on the truck that we keep because it's not uncommon that you get different moisture in different spots. But it's been a pain in the neck just because uh, we'll get it dry and then it tends to uh, drip down regardless. But you can see everything is all prepped out. And again, all the lippage has been removed or again, as much as possible. You can't get it all. And just like you can't grind down past the grout lines, it's, it's just part of the floor. But we try to uh, minimize everything. And what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to put down a uh, float floor of epoxy that you'll see in the next segment. You see what that looks like. This segment shows the results of the floor that we floated of just epoxy. So you can see everything is really coming together now. Uh, and again, this the, the reason for this coat is again to minimize any grout lines or lippage. So, you know, there's still a ghost image left and there's nothing you can do unless we float it yet on another floor. So this floor was done yesterday and even though we're in the, within the uh, recoat window where we could just put the epoxy down, what we did was we gave it a light sanding just to open up the epoxy a little bit and to get rid of any like little imperfections. Uh, there was a patch or two that we had to put in. And again, we had to get the floor dry because it rained again. So the weather has definitely not been cooperating with us, but you can see here what it looks like. And this is going to give us a really good base to put the final epoxy chip floor in. So this is our final floor. It looks very good. It's going to be easy to keep clean. It's definitely a nice clean looking update. Uh, the homeowner is not going to have the issue with mold and things like that because this has a polyasparta coating on it. And all she has to do is uh, really just uh, use a leaf blower and just blow the water off the floor now if it starts to pool up. As a matter of fact, on the other end of the lanai, we put in some weep holes uh, just because she said that it did pool there sometimes. So as you can see, everything looks really good. It's nice and flat. Uh, the color is nice, it's shiny, it's, and again, it has very durable polyaspartic top coat that's going to be easy to maintain. Now in the middle of the floor there is a drain, and uh, what we did too was we painted that to update it and then we polyed in that as well. So this is a much brighter, cleaner looking space than it was previously. This customer spends a lot of time out here and in her yard, so uh, she's really going to appreciate this new floor. So we're very happy to... She's actually a repeat customer. We did her garage, 
and when it came down to this she was looking for a solution and again her biggest concern was just keeping it clean and updating the look for it because uh, in the original uh, segment you can see how the water would just stand and uh, mold would create and then all that ceramic tile with all the little grooves and stuff like that on the you know the pattern in the tile itself plus the grout joints it was just a lot of uh, mildew it's always wet back here so it was difficult to maintain this is actually the same color that we put in her garage so the this sec this uh, part of the house matches the garage which is California gray so I'm going to show that in a second you'll see it both in and out of the Sun what it looks like now here's that color both in and out of the Sun definitely our most popular color California gray you can see that shine of the uh, top coat so uh, again it's a very nice looking floor and it meets her requirement of uh, just keeping it clean looks great thanks for watching pro tech epoxy floors newport ritchie florida we professionally install beauty and durability pro tech serves both residential and commercial customers in pasco hernando hillsborough and pinellas counties please call or text 727-916-2314 to discuss your project we look forward to being of service. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, or subscribe.